What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Oculomax Motif, their version of a Masterpiece Scale Rewind. Now, this is a TFCon LA 2023 exclusive, and I actually I was unable to go to TFCon LA, but luckily a friend of mine, Niles, was able to pick this up from Toy Dojo. They had this on sale. They had a limited copies it sold out, but thanks to Niles and thanks to Toy Dojo for sending these out. Now, I don't normally look at the packaging, but this packaging is a little unique, so we'll take a look at it. Here, you just got the artwork from Chuggo King. He did a nice job here. On the side, you have kind of that look of the blaster and his tape deck mode. And then here's the unique thing. It's a magnetized box. Closes like that. If you open it up, you can see the tape. That's really cool. Very reminiscent. You know, a lot of people don't even know what this is anymore. <laughs> I have a credit card that is colored like this. It looks like a tape, and most kids don't know what it is. But anyway, here it is. It's really nice and hefty. It's got some nice die cast on it. And you can actually, there's the plastic case. Now, you do want to kind of open this as far as you can open it so that you don't um, mess up that mechanism. It's kind of a little... little hinge here for that box. So we'll set that aside. Oh, by the way, we've got our buddy Jagoking, AK, Pig for Life, all of our friends here from Mastermind Creations and Oculomax. So here is the cover. And you do get this bag. It's actually marked TFCon on it. And that's because the stuff in this bag is unique to People who bought it from TFCon, so you get these parts, you get an extra head, and you get some shoulder parts. So we'll take a look at that a little bit later. And here's the case. Again, unique packaging. I don't normally take a look at packaging, but this is unique. It is an outlay, so it's basically taped or glued onto the outside of the tape cover. And if you open this up, you've got the collector's card here with that nice artwork and his tech specs and a bio there if you want to read that and nice tape pretty much the same as what we've been getting in the past so let's see you can get this in here which is kind of a unique thing uh, it's a little tight okay there we go and then this is the outlay so you basically put this on the outside like that and there's your tape pretty cool but that's really it for tape mode so let's get him transformed into robot mode because that's where the action is at. So starting off with the legs here, we're going to get this basically pulled away. There's a little panel right here. So you want to kind of basically get this pulled down and away while watching out for that. So bring this all the way down. We're going to basically bring this knee up and kind of pull this out of the way. Now you don't want this up, you want this down, but you need this piece to come back. You can put that back down. So when you first get it, that's going to be a very tight joint. Rotate this way so that it's facing that way. Come to the bottom here, close up these little panels. There are all, a lot of die cast on this. I can feel it. I mean, it's just very sturdy. All right, so close those two things up. Then we're going to open up these panels that are just pegged into each other. And you're going to bring this back, rock this back, and then tab it in. Same thing for this, rock this back, and then tab it in. Toe right here. And just give that a nice squeeze. So you should end up with one leg like that. So same thing on this, we'll do a little bit faster, pull this away and down. You can push these hip skirts down. We're going to rotate to the back, open up this knee, and like I mentioned, that could be a little tight, especially when you first get it. Come to the bottom, fold up these little panels, and those are also tight. So if you're careful, they're just very tight. This is die cast, by the way, these panels, so fold this down and tab it in. 
and then get your foot straight. And now I'll work on the upper body. So come to here, you can fold this down. I'm going to fold out this hand, rotate the forearm. This is going to go up to here. This is going to come back down and tab back in. These pieces here are going to rotate around the other side on both sides. You can accordion down the el elbow and rotate this. So we end up with the this part in the front, that's kind of his elbow, and then rotate the hand so it faces that way. All right, so same on this side, I'll just do this one a little bit faster. Rotate this down, fold this out, rotate this around, uh, and this panel kind of already went down by itself. Rotate these, extend, rotate to the front, and then rotate your hand. Next we're going to take these chest panels, bring these down. They don't actually lock into place, but they do kind of bump against each other to kind of hold each other. Same on the back, bring these down and they just kind of sit there. And there is Motif in his robot mode and he looks really good. I like the overall sculpt and paint. Got some nice gold paint there. Nothing really on the back, you just have the tape detail there. Overall pretty good looking robot. You got some red and then metallic blue for the eyes there. All right, let's go over his articulation. The head's on a ball joint, so it does go back and forth. If you go too far, it will pop off the ball joint. But it's up to there, down to there, side to side, and rotates around. Shoulders are turned around on a hinge here. Out to the side on this inner joint and on this joint, so you can get it all the way up. You have a rotation here at the bicep. Double jointed elbow gets you the full bend there. You have a wrist rotation. The fingers are on a single pin and you can't open up the hand. There's kind of a hidden joint here, so if you pull out on the shoulders just a bit, you can get a butterfly joint. Just a little bit. You can kind of bend forward or like, you know, arch his chest. Um, and I don't know if that was intentional or not, but there is that joint there. You have a waist rotation down here Ab crunch gets you down to there. That's pretty pretty good, actually. Uh, there's also a waist rotation here, but that's that other joint I was talking about. These tend to move on you, the little panels, as you're messing with it, so just be aware of that. If you move the hip skirts out of the way, you get leg kicks up to there, back to there, out to the side. That's all friction. Nicely toleranced. Rotation at the thigh. Double jointed knee gets you the full bend. And there's, there's actually a, another joint down here. So this toe can go backwards, forwards, and side to side. And then the toe has its own little tilt. So he can get kind of a walking pose. Now as far as accessories, you do get his blasters here. Done in that same kind of gold paint. It's got a black handle here. So you can do a couple things with this. You can come to the back here. There's a square peg right here. That'll fit on right there. And if you put both on, you get the classic look like that. And that's pretty cool. Or you can take this, fold down the handle, and that can fit in his hand. It's just a square peg, it just goes in straight. And there you go. Pew, pew. That looks pretty good. You also get alternate heads here. So we get basically three alternate heads that are going to come also with the standard release, the production release. So there's this head. To take it off, you just rotate it back on this ball joint. It'll pop off very pretty easily. Kind of a smiling or smirking face. This one's got a visor and you know a fully painted mouth, whereas this one has just got a white mask. And that looks pretty good. Straight face, a stoic face. And that looks good as well. Now, for the TFCon part, or the TFCon exclusive pieces, you get another head. So this one has a slightly different face mask. You can see the eyes are a little bit bigger. Head's shaped a little bit differently. I think that's probably my favorite, <laughs> to be honest. It's just uh, cool looking. But it's nice to have all the options. You get to choose whatever you prefer. 
Now we also get alternate shoulder pieces. I'm not really sure what they're supposed to represent, but you basically pull up and out on these shoulder pieces, shoulder pads. So it looks like this. And here's one option you have. You just put it, there's a little tab right here on the inside. So you want to get that tab in and down. It looks like that. It's kind of square versus this shape here. And I don't know if it's better or worse. It's just kind of different. And I'll put both on just so you can see what it looks like. But to be honest, you know, I'm not really sure this is the right thing to make as part of a TFCon. You know, it's just kind of whatever. But there you go with the square shoulders. All right, we do get one other shoulder pad, which is these right here. And I believe these will mount on top of these. So if you want that look. Maybe that's what they were going for, kind of a, a thicker look or a bigger, bigger shoulder. And I, I believe you have to take these off for transformation or it won't fit. But, I mean, that's kind of cool too. And for size comparison, because it's tradition on my channel, there it is with the Transform Element Optimus Prime. And there's a size comparison I think most people are interested in. The Deformation Space Blaster and the Mocular Max version of Steel Jaw, and then the Fans Toys version of the tapes, just so you can see the difference in size. It looks really good next to Blaster. That's what I said with this guy too. But if you're trying to scale them with the Fans Toys or the Takara tapes, obviously much, much bigger. So you kind of have to decide, you know, where you're going to put them in your collection. Me personally, I'm planning to have both of these. So. Uh, either way, I think it looks really nice with this blaster. Now, we are going to be getting the Fans Toys version of Blaster pretty soon and the tapes that go with it. So it'll be interesting to see kind of where I land in terms of where what I want to display in my collection. But either way, there you go for size comparison. So final recommendations on the TFCon exclusive Ocular Max motif. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. I'm going to recommend it. It's a nice figure. I like the articulation. I like the look of him overall, both in tape mode and robot mode. The accessories work nicely. The guns, both on the back, these peg it nicely as well as in the hands. You get the alternate heads, alternate face options. Those are nice. And then the alternate shoulder pieces. It is nice that you get the alternate TFCon exclusive head. Um, but I would have liked to have gotten like unique paint, you know, maybe this metallic gold paint that we got here on steel jaw because you know that's just kind of special that's something that tfcon should be something unique but i do like the alternate head that is nice uh, and the alternate shoulder pads you know those add a different look um, but if you're having a hard time finding this guy you probably can just wait for the regular release that's going to come out uh soon because you know there are only minor differences between the tfcon release and the regular release um i also want to mention that I can't wait for the rest of these because Ramhorn is like a glaring hole. You know, he's way too small. This is the one that came with Deformation Space and he's just not great. So I am excited to see how Oculomax does Ramhorn. But that's it for today. Thanks to Niles for sending this over and thanks to Toy Dojo for making this available after the convention. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.